So the, the firefish study is um, a study of a VRISD in infants with type 1 SMA. Uh, and it had two parts. Part one was the dose finding part. And once we uh, confirmed a dose, we took it over into part two of the study, uh, which was basically the confirmatory part of the dose that we believed was the most uh, appropriate for this patient population. And the study was designed to enroll uh, infants between the ages of one month and seven months of age. Uh, recently, at the European Pediatric Neurology Society Congress, we presented the three-year data. And this was the new, uh, new data cut, obviously. Uh, and this included one-year data from the open label extension. So it was pulling together the patient populations in the study uh, who had at least three years of treatment with the established dose. And what we've seen from this data uh, is a reinforcement of what we uh, saw initially, which is the long-term safety and efficacy of a VRISD in infants with symptomatic type 1 SMA. So the results from the firefish study at 36 months um, supported the primary efficacy and safety findings. Uh, and particularly, we've observed uh, that patients treated with a VRISD, 91% of these infants, or 58 of them, uh, treated with a VRISD were alive after three years of treatment. And just for context, um, infants with symptomatic type 1 SMA, if left untreated, they will rarely survive beyond two years of age. Um, we also saw that VRISD treated infants continue to improve or maintain their motor function, including their ability to swallow, uh, to sit without support, to stand with support, and to walk while holding on. And also for context, without treatment, uh, children with type 1 SMA are never able to sit without support. Uh, as far as safety, uh, the reductions in the serious adverse events and the hospitalizations that we had previously observed in both parts of the firefish study continued during the third year of treatment, with the most common uh, serious adverse events um, being pneumonia at 36%, uh, respiratory distress at 10%, um, viral pneumonia uh, at 9%, and acute respiratory failure and respiratory failure each at 5%.